We turn to politics now. A man who's been on the job for nearly two decades is now set to retire in about a year. Today, State Senator Dave Hansen says he plans to leave office at the end of his term. He was first elected in 2000. NBC 26's Matt Jarko is live in studio tonight with a look at the legacy he's built in decades of public service. Nina, Senator Hansen said today he got into politics to make a difference. And through those decades of public service, the 72-year-old Democrat showed at times a willingness to work across the aisle and other times a fierce hold of the party line. It was one of the most divisive times in Wisconsin politics. In 2011, newly elected Republican Governor Scott Walker proposed Wisconsin Act 10. Democrats were intensely opposed. Basically, I think we're negotiating with one man. Dave Hansen would join more than a dozen Democratic senators who left the state to delay a vote on the bill that would become law. We're going to be back someday, and I'm, I'm sure some people will welcome us, and some people will not be happy with us. But again, in my heart, we did the right thing. Like Governor Walker, Senator Hansen faced a recall election after he returned. He won easily. People believe in what we're doing. They believe in it. A lot of hard work in the last 11 years making contacts in O'Connell and Marinette and Green Bay. You know, they believe in me. Today, Hansen said after Act 10, state politics changed. It seemed like we became more divisive and too much more about the next election. We should be working together in a bipartisan way. Through the years, Senator Hansen did that. He said he's proud of his accomplishments, like getting funding for Marinette Marine, money for the Crest Events Center, and his work for seniors. The only state in the country that has a separate prescription drug plan for seniors 65 and over. It was a bipartisan move, a theme Republican leaders noticed through Hansen's career. Senator Hansen, uh, was one who would uh, work across the aisles. Uh, he worked with many of our uh, candidates on the Republican side uh, on uh, issues, and that's something that we certainly hope to continue. Republicans also hope to flip his seat in a race now without a popular incumbent. Hansen hopes someone can continue his work even when his job is done. Hopefully somebody younger will pick up the mantle and run with it, and I think this election can be won by our party if they work hard. Hansen will remain in office until January 2021, an entire year to work on issues he still wants to get done. Hansen mentioned a desire to clean up PFAS contamination and pass funding to help the homeless. Matt Jarko, NBC 26.